Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage, and today we're talking about belt drives, and more specifically for single speeding on a mountain bike. If you're already a single speeder, then you know there aren't that many options when it comes to drivetrains. Perhaps you've been running a chain and thought, would a belt be better? Or maybe you're looking to get a new single speed and wondered if you should buy one that had it. Well, I started riding single speeds early in my mountain bike career, and I even rode them exclusively for two years. I had the pleasure of riding a chain and a belt over that time, and I have a few opinions on both. We'll go over the advantages and disadvantages, and I'll let you know why I recently switched back to running a chain. But before you even consider modifying your current bike, let's ask the first question. Can any bike be adapted to fit a belt drive? Sadly, the answer here is no. Because belts are one solid piece, in order to install it, your frame actually needs to be able to come apart at either the chain stay or the seat stay. This isn't an issue with a chain because you can simply break the link and pass it through the frame. My carver has a bolt at the end of my chainstay that I can unscrew, which allows me to pass the belt through. Other bike companies will have their own way of doing this. But let's say that your bike is compatible with a belt. What are the advantages of a belt drive system? One of the advantages to running a belt is weight savings. When I add up the parts for both, the chain drive came in at 349 grams, which is 92 grams heavier than its belt drive counterpart. Now this isn't rotational weight, so it's not a tremendous amount of savings, but when you're on a single speed, every ounce counts. Some say there are efficiency benefits for running a belt drive, but I haven't felt a big difference between the two. However, I can confirm there is definitely less chatter and it does run smoother. Combine this with the weight savings and you might have a point. Now in addition to running smoother, there's also less maintenance. With chains, you have to clean them, apply oil, and they stretch far more quickly compared to belts. This means you'll have to replace them much more frequently. With belts, you never have to worry about any of these things. You'll want to check your tension every so often, but I've heard of riders going years before having to replace a belt. What are the disadvantages to running a belt drive? Well, let's start with the most obvious and the reason why I recently switched back. Unlike a chain, when a belt snaps, that's it. Unless you have a spare belt, you're most likely doing a walk of shame back to the car. And even if you were lucky enough to have a bike shop close by, the odds that they would have a belt in stock, let alone one in your size, would be exceptionally rare. Belts are extremely strong when the tension is applied straight on, but if you apply a lot of side-to-side -side pressure, it's a lot more susceptible to snapping. This is especially problematic with bikes with a lot of flex. And speaking of flex, if you happen to torque down on the pedals at the wrong moment and knock the belt off its tracks, it's really hard to get back on. This is because belt drives are installed under a tremendous amount of tension. In fact, part of that installation process is testing the tension like a guitar string using an app. Finally, choosing the right gear ratio is absolutely critical because belt drives tend to be more expensive. It's not as simple as removing or adding links to a chain. A new belt and rear cog could set you back $120. So with all those disadvantages, who can benefit from a belt drive? Well, if you live in an area with a lot of smooth, flowy trails and your climbs are gradual, then the belt would be great. But I would also say if you're a racer looking for every little advantage you can get, then the belt would be noticeably lighter and smoother. Lastly, if you're using the bike to commute, the lack of maintenance and quiet drivetrain could be a huge advantage. Oh, and it does great in conditions or places where chains are subject to corrosion, like the beach, or if you do a lot of winter riding where road salts can be an issue. You know, at the end of the day, I had my belt drive for over two years, and for the kind of riding I like to do, the chain just works out better. I need something that can withstand short power bursts and technical terrain and punchy climbs at a moment's notice. I will note that having a titanium frame also played a big role in my decision because my frame is quite flexible. This is great as it makes the bike more comfortable to ride, but the added flex meant that my belt was constantly slipping off and sometimes even snapping. And after having to walk 45 minutes back to my car on my last ride, I decided it was time to switch back to a chain and I think that's where I'm going to stay. Well that does it for this video, if you have any feedback or questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed the video, consider donating a few bucks to help keep the lights on. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I don't know that we need to show that much belt. Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage, and today we're talking about belt drives. And it's already hitting something. We're talking about belt drives. That is not going to work. Or maybe you're getting a new single speed and wondered if you, and wondered if you, well I, you can hear that, right? And now police sirens. <laughs> I just totally hit my hair on the, I hope it's
Why can't why? Yay! And you're being a pain in my uh, right on cue. Come on, y'all. It's not even appropriate. Appropriate. Consider donating a few bucks to help keep the lights on. To help keep the lights. To help keep the lights on. I don't ever come to Brandywine without a stick. This man knows this place. And he's down. Just ate a nap. That's nice. <laughs> oh. That was it. I do not feel warmed up for this at all. I highly doubt I'm gonna get it on the single speed today, but let's see. Got clipped out, but I'm still moving. Mama, come on. Oh my, that hurts. Oh, I'm hurting. I brought the single speed like an idiot. <laughs> Bring the single speed, it'll be fun, they said. Oh, shit. 